Hi everyone, Caro Bramley, Physio, Pilates instructor and health coach here. I just want to hop on because uh, in our Pilates classes we've been working a little bit more in terms of the neck and just one, I want to teach you a really important exercise and it's an exercise that that for these purposes is actually probably better to do in lying than in sitting and I've done uploaded some that are in sitting okay which is part of the neck um, group of exercises so that were that was the 44 videos okay go call snippet 44 but I want you just to think about the neck so what lands up happening with the neck is because so many of us are actually sitting, you know, with postures where our heads are forward, we're on our phones, our computers and stuff. What lands up happening is our neck comes further and further forward like that. And you can see we've got a little artery that goes there. And of course, we've got the carotid artery that also sits here. But we've also got what we call the vagus nerve that comes down the front here. Now, the vagus nerve is the nerve that supplies all our organs, okay, including our spleen. And our spleen is the organ that controls inflammation. Now, when your head goes further and further forward like that, it puts a lot of pressure on that vagus nerve and that can compromise it. And so then that can perpetuate the inflammation. So what we've got to do to take the pressure off is actually bring that neck position like that, okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that, all right, um, and see how you go. I'm actually going to use a towel because that's better for me. But maybe when you first start this, if your neck is really stiff, this is um, a K-pop pillow, but you could also use a feather pillow. You need to use a pillow that's a bit squishy so that you can put your head in the hollow. I'll show you how to do that, but I'm actually going to do it with this okay because I think it'll be easier for you to see and to start with you might have to start with two pillows okay right so the key thing with the pillows is make a little hollow make a little hollow like that okay <clears throat> and then you come down on your side like this okay and then on your back and the big thing with the pillow is that you need to make sure that it's not under your shoulders, that it's tucked here, okay? So that's your positioning with the pillow, but I'll do it with the towel so that you can actually see what I'm doing, okay? So you've got the towel, not here, at the base of your skull, okay, which is what we call your occiput. I've got my knees bent. You can have them over a pillow if you'd like. I've just got them bent up. But what we want to do here is we want to tuck the chin in so that activates the neck flexors, which are the muscles that stabilize our neck, okay? So we need to tuck that chin in and then we need to push back. So I'm pushing back against this part of my head, just into the towel. Okay, let me go again. Chin tuck, breathe in, breathe out, and push back. Breathe in, and out, come out of it. Breathe in, and out, chin tuck, push back. Breathe in and out to come out of it. So I like to get quite a nice stretching feeling here. And I like to do the breathing as well. Because for the vagus nerve, it's so, so important to actually do our deep breathing. Okay, that's what actually calms everything down. So for the vagus nerve to, to keep our spleen happy and reduce inflammation, we actually need to stimulate it. This is how you stimulate it. Okay, so we go again. 
Shin check, push back, and release. One more. Breathe out. Shin check, push back, and release. So you see when you're in line, that takes a lot of the pressure off the vagus nerve. And it means we can actually mobilize those vertebrae in a very stable position. Okay. Now, I'm hopping off the bed <laughs> without batting an eyelid. But for those of you, and you're trying this for the first time, <laughs> don't. Okay, you might want to lie on your side for a moment or two. And then you might want to get up into sitting. Just give that a moment or two. Because sometimes just doing these exercises can make you feel a little bit lightheaded or dizzy. Just give that time. Okay, and as you progress, hopefully you will start feeling a lot better. So, you know, for, uh, for the people I'm trying to help, especially those with um, really horrible headaches. I'm trying to get them to do this in lying in the morning, in lying in the evening, and if they can, you know, depending on what they're up to, if they can get on their bed and maybe do that after lunch as well, and then in between they're doing the ones and sitting. Okay, all right, hopefully that helps. I um, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.